Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg, and in this video we're going to take a look at the Retina displays on the iPod Touch 4th generation and the iPhone 4. Now when everybody heard that the iPod Touch 4th generation was getting the Retina display, we all assumed that we could expect the exact same performance. And indeed we do have the exact same resolution. However, there are some differences. The iPhone 4 has a IP or in-plane switching TFT or LCD display, while the iPod Touch has a twisted pneumatic display. So although they have the same resolution, their performance differs slightly. Now the benefits of having an in-plane switching display like the one on the iPhone 4 and the iPad is the ability to view this at various angles without losing color fidelity and contrast. Now when you're looking head on they look about the same. It's only when you turn them to the side or rotate them around that you see the effect of in-plane switching versus twisted pneumatic. So again we have the iPod on the left and the iPhone 4 on the right and if we move them to the side you can see that the iPod is getting darker Now it doesn't look too bad from this angle. You can see it's a little darker than the iPhone 4 and uh, it's a, now cast in a blue color. Now if we rotate this to the other direction, we'll see more of an effect. So now we can see that the iPod Touch is much more blue and much lighter in color. Again, it's lost some of its contrast. So let's uh, rotate them around. Again, you can see the iPod Touch is bluer next to the iPhone 4. So even at this uh, less extreme angle, it's still showing the effect. So once you're straight on, there's very little difference. This also extends to other angles, of course. So if you lay this down, you can see that the iPod Touch is uh, now much more washed out and much lighter. It has lost some of its color and contrast, but the iPhone 4 is pretty stable. And we can do it in the reverse angle here. So once again, a little more washed out than the iPhone 4. But of course the resolution is just as good. So let's zoom up and take a look at the difference. So here we have the iPod Touch, and if we pan over to the iPhone 4, again, it looks very similar. There's no difference that I can tell from my eyes. So once again, iPod Touch, iPhone 4, um, the iPod Touch, iPhone 4. So it all looks very similar. Of course, if you were to put this next to an iPod Touch second or third generation, you would see a huge difference in terms of its resolution. Now I've gone ahead and swapped out the iPhone 4 for a second generation iPod Touch or 8GB iPod Touch, either second or third generation, were the same. Uh, they're not exactly the same UI. I don't have a wallpaper on here and I don't have some of the uh, icons or apps on here to compare it against, but we should be able to see pretty clearly. So now we're going to use the music icon here. Again, this is the fourth generation iPod and this is the second generation. So you put them very close together. Uh, on the right you can see quite a few more pixels. And I should say there is some distortion I'm seeing on the camera which I don't see on the iPod. Uh, so uh, it does look even better in person and the iPod second generation doesn't look quite this bad in person. We do the rotation test here. We can see that both of them are TN displays so they will have the same drawbacks. Again, uh, everything shifts toward a lighter, bluer color and it loses some contrast in color. Now performance is slightly better on the fourth generation largely because according to iFixit, the LCD display is laminated to the glass so there's less distance between the glass and the, uh, and the display itself so there is less refraction so you get less distortion when you're looking at it from an angle. But overall the effect is not that significant. The real benefit here, of course, is the higher resolution. So once again, this is Detroit Borg taking a look at the Retina display on the iPod Touch 4th generation. Thanks for watching.